Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Rodette, and I am the clinical director for Origins Incubator. And I love working in Origins with all the people I get to work with. And this week, our content um, it kind of demonstrates how we really cover all the aspects of uh, patient care, of business management, legal management. And so this week, not only did we cover, for example, clinical management of migraines, but we also kind of dealt with how do we all deal with this personality type that you might call doctor shoppers? Uh, they're the ones who have seen seven to eight functional providers right there in your own backyard. They come in, they want a little of this, they don't want to do everything. Uh, they take bits and pieces. They come back the next uh, for their next appointment and they said, oh, well, I did some of that, but so-and-so said to do this and I read online. And so we're left with this person who ultimately is really working working very hard at their health, but struggling to figure, figure out how to stay on track and uh, really dig into a singular approach. And again, this is one of the things that is so useful about the membership model is that people don't just kind of float and waver when they know that they have five appointments and they have set touch points with you. It means that it gives us a much better opportunity than the way appointments are traditionally set up or established to really make sure we're pulling them back in, uh, really anchoring them and getting them to that um, end point. And so when I uh, deal with a patient like this, I try to think just like with any condition, uh, what's at the root cause of why they're out there um, shopping around, not really digging into a singular approach and overall really wanting to get better, but somehow um, um, scattering themselves through so many choices they can't really uh, get serious. And so one of the things that we talked about was something known as chaos uh, theory. And uh, it is a, the idea that some people in their past have used chaos as a coping mechanism. And so one idea might be to kind of from the patient's history, figure out if that's appropriate to them, even asking them, do you think that you use chaos as a strategy for dealing with things? Um, another piece is just being highly directive with a patient like this and as simple as possible. Usually in a functional medicine approach, we're asking people to do a lot of things and the endpoints can sometimes be vague. So making sure we're really clear about that. We are going to focus on the intensity of the headache, your sleep schedule, and um, decreasing carbohydrates from the diet. Here are the ways so we're going to measure each of those things, whether it's a specific questionnaire that you then have them fill out, um, having them chart every day what they're doing with their diet. So they really get engaged in their healthcare like they want to be, um, but in a way that's productive rather than potentially uh, self-sabotaging. So we talked about how um, really uh, I like to, in this situation, I like to remind patients that we are doing treatments at least for a couple of reasons and feeling better is only one of those reasons. That's true. That's the primary reason. But in addition to improving what's going on, the other reason that we want to do diagnose, that we want to do various treatments is because it will tell us what's going on in the patient. Even if they don't have improvement from it, it allows us to rule out that line of thinking as a reason why they're feeling worse or not doing well. So I remind them that unless they're very specific with what we're trying to do, we won't be able to evaluate as well in terms of not only how they're doing, but was this the, the, the correct diagnostic approach? And so ultimately, education, 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 uh, this is always our best tool to deal with what's going on, really telling somebody multiple reasons why we're asking them to be engaged in this way. Uh, then we went on to talk about things like migraines, and we talked about various areas of focus, uh, also various um, supplements that we've all utilized and seem to be helpful. So at Origins Incubator, we're really working to get to all of uh, the pieces of the puzzle that we deal with in terms of practitioners. 
not just the actual clinical manifestation of what somebody is experiencing, uh, but also their motivation, their style of being, how they're interacting with the outside world, all of these things that can be obstacles on their way to becoming healthy. And ultimately really seeing the value of something like a membership-based practice in terms of getting people to where they're at. Uh, so thank you for stopping by. Uh, again, Dr. Burdett from Origins Incubator, and I am the director of the clinical curriculum.